Hello, friends. Today, let's solve the snapshot array. Implement a snapshot array that supports the following interface. Um, let's see the snapshot array. We pass a length and initialize the, uh, an array-like data structure with a given length. Initially, each element equals zero. And we also have three functions. One is set index value, sets the element at the given index to be equal to value. And the snap, we take a snapshot of an, the array and returns the snap ID. The total number of times we call the snap minus one. That means if we first call the snap function, then we return zero because we call the snap once, so we should minus one. Next time we will return one and so on and so forth. Uh, and uh, this get function, we will get index and the uh, snap ID. We return the value as a given index at the time we took the snapshot with the given snap ID. That means for every element, we can get its specific uh, snap ID. We can get its version. Uh, let's think how to s solve this question. Actually, I think we have two possible solutions. Let's first uh, Understand the question. If we pass the length equal to 3, at first all the elements will equal to 0. Then we call the set function, we set 0 to 5. So now the whole array becomes 500. Zero, zero. Now we call the snap function once. Uh, this is the version 0, which is 500. Zero, zero. Then we set 0 to 6. So now the whole array becomes 600. Zero, zero. If now we get, uh, we use this get function to get the index 0 and the version 0, we should return 5. So one possible solution is to record uh, every version of the whole array. Uh, so that means uh, for this uh, example, we will save 500 and 600 because they represent two different uh, versions. But actually, we only call this snap once, so we only have the version 0 now. <coughs> so if we use this solution, we will use a list and uh, uh, the type will be int array. That is the whole array. Uh, at first, it is 0, 0, 0, and then we record the 5, 0, 0, and then we add 6, 0, 0. So the index of this list is just be the version, uh, which means it's the snap ID. Uh, the prompts of the prompts of this solution is that we can get the specific version in uh, index its value. The time complexity will be big O one. So if we get uh, the ver uh, snap ID equal to zero and the index equal to 0, we can quickly get this 5. Also, the set function, the time complexity will also be big O1. Actually, if we use this solution, we will use a temporary array. Uh, we name it snap. Because when we call this set, we will change the value of this um, responding index in the uh, snap array. And once we call this snap, I, uh, we call a snap uh, function. We add the temporary array into the list. This becomes one version. So the set, uh, when we call this set, we just change the index in the snap array. So it's also the big O one. But the comes is that, uh, as we need to save the whole array, so the memory will be very large. And uh, we all, every time we copy the whole snap value into the um, duplicate array, and we add the duplicate array to the list. Uh, and another big problem is that we actually save much useless information. Because uh, you see that uh, actually we just change the value of this index 0. The in the value in the index one and the two they stay the same. So we 
actually do no need to save that. So that here comes the possible solution one. Actually, we can use the memory um, cleverly. Uh, actually, smartly. Actually, we just need to save the modification of a uh, value. That means for we use a list again, but in this case, we just save every element as one entry in the list, and for every element, we save its version and its responding value. So that means <coughs> for this example, we have a list is it has a, uh, the size is three. And at first, we will save 0, 0 to this list because at first, uh, all the uh, value is 0. Then when we uh, use uh, call this set function, we set index 0 to 5. Currently, the snap ID is 0. So we will uh, put 0, 5 into index 0. That means the version 0 is value is 5. And then we call the snap function so now the snap id becomes one then we call this set function again we set the index zero to six this time we will put one and six to this index zero that means the the version one we have the value of six mm. so let's see how to uh, implement this set function and uh, what data structure should we use? We know we now know that we will use a list to uh, save one entry for every element. But uh, how to save the version and their value? Actually, we can just uh, uh, use a hash map. But if we use hash map, we we want to get a specific uh, version and their value. Um. It is very complicated because we doesn't use the um, property that they are sorted because the snap ID is sorted. They are uh, um, ascending. They are in ascending order. So actually, we can use the tree map. If we use tree map, we do not need to implement the binary search by ourselves because we can call the flow entry or the ceiling entry in the um, uh, its uh, own function, uh, actually its own property. So we can use this uh, <coughs> feature to get the the value we wanted. We want. Um, so if we want to. If we call this set function, we just uh, need to put an entry in the uh, specific uh, element in the list and put that uh, key and value pair into the tree map. It's very easy. The time complexity is log n, right? How about the snap? The snap function we just to return the current snap ID. But when we return that, we should let the snap ID increment by 1. Okay, this is the too easy part. Um, how about the get function? Actually, as we use the tree map, we can use the flow key entry. But what does that mean? Why, why do we need to use the binary search or the flow entry? Because you see, the <coughs> the version ID is ascending, but they are not a cons constant. Let's see if for the index zero we have two version, version one and version seven. Uh, why is we can uh, write version one verse seven? How about version two version two or version two version three? They maybe have some modification in the index one and the index two. So between the version one and the version six, uh, there is no modification in the index zero. So if we need to find version three about this. Index zero. We just need to return the flow entry of three. That is the version one. So that means all the elements between the one to seven is actually the same as version one. 
So that's the reason we need to use a binary search, or in the Java we can use the flow entry. Okay, so the the for the space complexity because this is the least. Uh, we need to <coughs> record the length of the array, and n is the times of the multiplications. Actually, is the snap function, because when when we uh, when we call this snap, we should. Uh, mm, uh no 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 it's the set, the times we call this set uh, uh function. Because when we call it set, we will put a new entry in the tree map. Okay, so wipe wipe up. We will use a list that has the tree map of as its type to record every element and its uh version history. That is the version. Actually, the snap ID and its corresponding value. So when we call this set, we will put a new entry its corresponding uh, tree map. Uh, for this snap, we just return snap ID and the plus plus. For this get, we will uh, return the map get the index and uh, the flow entry of this snap ID and get its value. So that's it. That's it. Now let's write the code. We'll use a private list tree map that will be the integer integer that will be map. Then we have the int that means a snap ID. So uh, map um, new array list. Then we need to add the uh, length int i equal to zero i less than length i plus plus. So for every entry map, um, add uh, new tree map, and uh, we will initialize that map get i put zero zero. Data snap id will equal to zero. Set just let the map get the index. Put current snap ID and the value. Re uh, call snap will just return the snap ID plus plus. How about the get? If the get will just return the map get index and the flow entry. That's the snap ID. This is the entry, so we will get its value. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.